flower as a reproductive organ evolved with one primary purpose in mind, to attract pollinators like insects or birds. This function has driven their astounding evolutionary explosion of distinct colours and shapes, some of which have even come to resemble various recognisable figures, plants or animals. The colour of these flamboyant orchids attract insects and birds, signalling that these flowers are full of tasty nectar. Their shapes, on the other hand, often evolve to attract or accommodate specific pollinators while dissuading parasites or other less desirable pollinators. Some flowers are more welcoming to bees while others are perfect for hummingbirds or different insects. Today in this video we will look at plants that look like something else. Before we move on to the video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please don't forget to click that bell icon to receive notifications of future videos. Number 1. Monkey Face Orchid Dracula Simia Dracula Simia, called also Monkey Orchid, or the monkey-like Dracula, is an epiphytic orchid originally described in the genus Masdevallia, but later moved to the genus Dracula. The arrangement of column, petals and lip strongly resemble a monkey's face. The plant blooms at any season with several flowers on the inflorescence that open successively. The flowers are fragrant with the scent of ripe orange, it only grows in the mountainous regions of Ecuador, Colombia and Peru, at an elevation between 1000 and 2000 metres above sea level. But there are a few lucky collectors who have managed to grow it in captivity. Number 2. Moth Orchid Phalaenopsis, known as moth orchids, is an orchid genus of approximately 60 species. Phalaenopsis is one of the most popular orchids in the trade, through the development of many artificial hybrids. It is native to southern China, Taiwan, the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia, Thailand, Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia, etc. New Guinea, the Bismarck Archipelago, and Queensland. The generic name from Greek means Phalian-like and is probably a reference to the genus Phalania, the name given by Carl Linnaeus to a group of large moths. The flowers of some species supposedly resemble moths in flight. For this reason, the species are sometimes called moth orchids. Number 3. Naked Man Orchid Orchis Italica Orchis Italica, commonly known as the Naked Man Orchid, or the Italian Orchid, is a species of orchid native to the Mediterranean. It gets its common name from the locked lips labellum of each flower which mimics the general shape of a naked man. It prefers partial shade and low nutrient soil and flowers. The orchids grow up to 50 centimeters in height with bright pink, densely clustered flowers. They are found commonly and widespread in the Mediterranean in large clusters. The photographs in the video are genuine. Many commentators have suggested that the images have been digitally manipulated and do not show a real plant. However, Orchis italica, aka the Naked Man Orchid, is certainly real. Number 4. Hooker's Lips Psychotria elata These gorgeous pair of red luscious lips belong to a plant known as Psychotria elata, a tropical tree found in the rainforest of Central and South American countries like Colombia, Costa Rica, Panama and Ecuador. Affectionately, Psychotria elata is called Hooker's Lips, or the Hot Lip Plant. The plant has apparently evolved into its current shape to attract pollinators including hummingbirds and butterflies. According to Oddity Central, the bracts are only kissable for a short while before they spread open to reveal the plant's flower. Number 5. Dancing Girls, Ipantians bacurti. It doesn't have a common name, but I call it the Dancing Girl Ipantians. Ipantians bucurti is a rare species from the rainforest of East Africa. This petite plant only grows about a foot across and the blooms are barely one and a half inches long, but their enchanting shape makes up for it. The petals resemble a little girl in a skirt with outstretched arms. Impantian bucurti is a perennial species that trails and climbs to about eight inches in each direction, rooting wherever it touches the soil. It looks nice when grown in a hanging planter, so the flowers can be admired at an eye level. The blooms are mostly white but occasionally soft pink and have two yellow buttons on the petals. The heart-shaped leaves are a nice olive green on top and the underside is wine red, as are the branches. This is a true species, not a hybrid. It's possible that it can be crossed with some other Impantian species to create new hybrids. Number 6. Laughing Bumblebee Orchid, Orphis bomibiliflora. Orphis bomibiliflora, the bumblebee orchid, is a species of Orphis bee orchid native from the Mediterranean region from Portugal. The genus name Orphis is from the Greek in reference to the hairy lips of the flower of this genus. The specific epithet Bomiflora is from the Greek Bomilos, bumblebee. Although normally quite a short plant, bumblebee orchid can grow up to 35cm in height in places where it is competing with taller plants for light. 
The flowers have very distinctive and relatively large oval green sepals and small triangular petals which are sometimes tinged with a bronze colour. The lip is free-lobed and brownish in colour, sometimes with a bluish speculum, although this is not always present. As with other species of Orphis, the flowers mimic laughing bumblebees in appearance. Number 7. Swaddled Babies, Angula Uniflora. Angular uniflora is only about 18 to 24 inches tall, with thin pleated leaves above conical pseudobulbs. The most outstanding feature of this plant are its complex flowers, which, at a certain stage of opening, look uncannily like a baby wrapped in swaddling cloth, be it rather an ugly one. These large, fragrant, creamy white waxy flowers usually bloom in the spring and in the summer and are overwhelmingly fragrant. Each bloom develops a single stem that rises from the base of the pseudobulbs. Number 8. Parrot Flower, Impantian Citicina. Impantian Citicina, known variously as the Parrot Flower or Parrot Balsam, is a species of balsam from Southeast Asia that was described by the botanist Joseph Dalton Hooker and was noted for its flower that resembles a flying cockatoo. It is known from Thailand, Burma. This species of Impantian is known in Thai as Dork Nok Kahu, which translates to Flower Bird Parrot. Number 9. Snapdragon Seed Pod, Antihynium. The snapdragon plant is a favourite plant for many gardeners, but not everyone knows about the darker side these plants contain. Once the seed pods have dried out, the dried seed pods clearly resemble tiny skulls. These skulls are oddly human looking. Ancient cultures once fought snapdragons held supernatural powers. The tiny skulls were believed to protect against sorcery, witchcraft and curses. They were even thought to contain anti-aging powers. Number 10, Flying Duck Orchid, Calania Major. Native to the Australian wilderness, Flying Duck Orchid plants are amazing orchids that produce distinctive duck-like blooms. The complex flowers have evolved to attract male sawflies, which are tricked into thinking the plants are female sawflies. Although the sawfly may not intend to be a pollinator for a flying duck orchid plant, it plays a critical role in the survival of this orchid. Flying duck orchid plants are so unique that the plants were featured on Australian posted plants, along with other beautiful orchids endemic to that country. Unfortunately, the plant is also on the Australia's vulnerable list, due primarily to habitat destruction and a decrease in numbers of critical pollinators. Number 11, Happy Alien, Calicora uniflora. The happy alien plant, Calicora uniflora, is a bizarre looking species of evergreen perennial plant from Tierra del Fugo in the southern region of South America. Calciolaria uniforia was first discovered by Charles Darwin during his expedition around South America. The voyage of the Beagle, 1831 to 1836, in fact this species was originally named Calcellaria darwini, but now has been superseded. Number 12, Angel Orchid, Habanaria grandifloriformis. The Angel Orchid, Habanaria grandifloriformis, is an exquisite orchid species from the open high altitude grasslands of southern India. It was first described by Charles McCann and Ethelbert Blatter in 1932 and is noted for its beautiful white bilobed petals which with a little imagination resemble a levitating cloaked angel. Each plant can have one or more flowering stems but usually no more than five per plant. The stems tend to be no more than 12 centimetres high and produce one flower at the top of each stem. Number 13, Dove Orchid or Holy Ghost Orchid, Persisteria alata. Persisteria alata is a species of orchid occurring from Central America to Ecuador and Venezuela. It is the only type of species of its genus and is commonly referred to as the Holy Ghost Orchid, Dove Orchid or Flower of the Holy Spirit. This flower is in grave danger of extinction because of its beauty, traffickers take it away from its habitat. The orchid is the national flower of the Republic of Panama, declared in the flower festival. Number 14, White Egret Orchid, Habanaria radita. The white egret orchid is named for its beautiful flowers which have a striking resemblance to a graceful white egret in flight. Despite being well known worldwide, ironically this species is imperiled in the wild. The lateral lobes of the lip give it the distinctive egret flower shape, while the petals also pure white, and lightly toothed, slay upwards, looking much like wings, and giving the flower an almost angelic appeal up close. Number 16, Darfader, Astrolocia salvadorensis. Most people will never have an opportunity to see this rare plant in its natural environment. Looking like a Halloween death mask or even Darfader's full face helmet, this species is so rare that hardly anything is known about it. Native to Brazil, this large woody climber can be found in open flood plains. There is a good reason behind the conspicuous shape and purple patterning of the flowers. This is because they are intended to both look and smell like rotting flesh. 
something they achieve with nauseating excellence. This mimicry has evolved in order to attract its insect pollinators. So, that's the video on the most amazing plants that look like something else. If you like the video, please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you for watching.